a ketogenic diet to lose weight and fight metabolic disease, part 1. Obesity and metabolic diseases are major health problems worldwide. In 2016, obesity affected 13% of adults globally. Obesity is a risk factor of metabolic syndrome, a cluster of metabolic abnormalities, including type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high waist to hip ratio, and low HDL, good, cholesterol. To combat this, many diets have emerged, including the ketogenic diet, in which a person consumes a very limited amount of carbohydrates. Some research suggests this diet may have benefits for people with obesity. However, some experts have questioned the health benefits of the keto diet and called for more research. While it may help you lose weight, there may also be complications. This article explains how the keto diet may help people lose weight and manage metabolic disease. It also discusses some of the possible drawbacks. What is a ketogenic diet? A ketogenic diet is high in fat, moderate in protein, and low in carbs. As carbs are reduced and fat is increased, the body enters a metabolic state called ketosis. Then the body starts turning fats into ketones, which are molecules that can supply energy for the brain. After a few days or weeks on such a diet, the body and brain become very efficient at burning fat and ketones for fuel instead of carbs. The ketogenic diet also lowers insulin levels, which can be beneficial for improving insulin sensitivity and blood sugar management. Staple foods on a ketogenic diet include, meat, fish, butter, eggs, cheese, heavy cream, oils, nuts, avocados, seeds, low-carb vegetables. In contrast, nearly all carb sources are eliminated, including, grains, rice, beans, potatoes, sweets, milk, cereals, fruits, some higher-carb vegetables. Bottom line, a ketogenic diet is a high-fat, moderate-protein, and low-carb diet. It primarily works by lowering insulin levels, producing ketones, and increasing fat burning. Ketogenic Diets and Weight Loss There's evidence that ketogenic diets can help with weight loss. They may help you lose fat, preserve muscle mass, and improve many markers of disease. Some studies have suggested that a ketogenic diet may be more effective than a low-fat diet for weight loss, even after matching the total calorie intake. In one older study, people on a ketogenic diet lost 2.2 times more weight than those on a low-calorie, low-fat diet. Triglyceride and HDL, good, cholesterol levels also improved. However, both groups reduced calorie consumption by a comparable amount, and this may have increased weight loss. Another 2007 study compared a low-carb diet to the Diabetes UK's dietary guidelines. It found the low-carb group lost 15.2 pounds, 6.9 kilograms, while the low-fat group lost only 4.6 pounds, 2.1 kilograms. Over three months, the low-carb diet caused three times more weight loss. However, there was no difference in the one c ketone, or lipid levels between the groups. Also, those on the low-carb diet also decreased their calorie intake. Finally, there was no difference in fat or protein intake between the two groups. This is important to note if people are increasing their fat intake because they are following a keto diet. However, there are contrasting theories for these findings. Some researchers argue the results are simply due to a higher protein intake, and others think there's a distinct metabolic advantage to ketogenic diets. Other ketogenic diet studies have found that the ketogenic diet may lead to reductions in appetite and food intake. This is extremely important when applying the research to a real-life setting. If you dislike counting calories, the data suggests a ketogenic diet may be a good option for you. You can eliminate certain foods and don't have to track calories. If you follow the keto diet, you still have to check labels and keep track of your total grams of carbs each day which requires paying attention to food choices. However, keep in mind that many of the studies mentioned above had small sample sizes and only evaluated the short-term effects of the diet. Additional research is needed to determine how the diet may impact weight loss in the long run and whether weight is regained once a normal diet is resumed. Bottom line 
the ketogenic diet is an effective weight loss diet that's well supported by evidence. It is very filling and usually does not require calorie counting. How do ketogenic diets promote weight loss? Here's how ketogenic diets promote weight loss, higher protein intake. Some ketogenic diets lead to an increase in protein intake, which has many weight loss benefits. Gluconeogenesis. Your body converts fat and protein into carbs for fuel. This process may burn many additional calories each day. Appetite suppressant. Ketogenic diets help you feel full. This is supported by positive changes in hunger hormones, including leptin and ghrelin. Improved insulin sensitivity. Ketogenic diets can drastically improve insulin sensitivity, which can help improve fuel utilization and metabolism. Decreased fat storage. Some research suggests ketogenic diets may reduce lipogenesis, the process of converting sugar into fat. This is because excess carbs are stored as fat. When there's a minimal intake of carbs, fat is used for energy. Increased fat burning. Several studies have found that ketogenic diets may slightly increase the amount of fat you burn during rest, daily activity, and exercise, although more research is needed. In these ways, a ketogenic diet can be effective at helping you lose weight. However, note that it's important to ensure that you're meeting your calorie needs when following the ketogenic diet. Cutting calories too much can slow your metabolism, making it harder to lose weight in the long run. Some experts also note that, while the keto diet may lead to weight loss in the short term, the loss is unlikely to continue. It can also be hard to follow the diet for a long time. Bottom line, a ketogenic diet may help you burn fat, reduce calorie intake, and increase feelings of fullness, compared to other weight loss diets. What do you think? Let us know what you think below.